Hey everyone, it's Lindsay. I'm back today with another Card Making 101 video, this time on making your card bases. So I'm going to start out with the most popular card base, or it's my favorite at least, and that is the A2 card. The A2 card measures four and a quarter by five and a half, and you can make exactly two cards from one sheet of eight and a half by 11 inch card stock with absolutely no leftover pieces. So I'm first going to show you how you can create the A2 top folding card base. I'm using my Fiskars paper trimmer today and I will be using white 110 pound card stock. Each sheet measures 8.5 inches by 11 inches. So I'm first putting my card stock in at 4 and a quarter inches and then I will just slice right up the middle. And that leaves me with two pieces of card stock that can both be made into card bases. Now the first piece of cardstock, I'm just going to take and fold it straight over. I'll line up both ends and then using my finger I just press down in the middle and then I bring in my bone folder and I just have a cheap one, not one of the Teflon ones that are more expensive, but this does it for me and then I just make my line nice and crisp and there is my A2 top folding card base. Now because I have another piece left over, I can make another one as well. So each piece of cardstock makes two A2 top folding card bases. Here is the actual directions and you can find those over on my blog if you want to look at those a little more closely. Now moving on to an A2 side folding card base. This is the exact same size, however the fold is just on the side instead of the top. So I'm going to put my um, piece of cardstock in horizontally now and I'm just gonna measure out five and a half inches and then slice right up the middle. Now I'm left with two pieces of cardstock that I can fold over, make sure the two ends are aligned, and then use my bone folder to make that crease nice and straight. And there I have an A2 side folding card base. Now again I've got that leftover piece on the left there and I can make another one as well. There are my two card bases, A2 side folding card bases. And now you can see the directions and again these can be found over on my blog if you want a closer look at those. The next size card base I want to talk about are four bar note cards. These are a little bit smaller than your A2 and I use these a lot for kids cards. These are great because they're a smaller size so you're not using as much product with them so it doesn't matter if they get torn up. They are three and a half inches by four and seven eighths inches, and you can make two cards from one sheet of eight and a half by 11 inch card stock. So you can make top folding and side folding card bases with your eight and a half by 11 inch card stock. So I'm first gonna show you the top folding card bases. So starting off with my eight and a half inch by 11 inch card stock, I'm gonna place it in my paper trimmer and cut it down to nine and three quarters inches on the longest side. I'll remove that little bit of excess and you can save that for another project if you want to and then I'll go ahead and flip it around and cut this down to first three and a half inches and then I'll move my paper down and cut it three and a half inches again and this will give me a little leftover piece on the right hand side but I am left with two card base sizes. Now you can see I have two little leftover strips of cardstock. You can save those for another project or toss them, whatever you want to do. And then I'm just going to fold these over right in half, use my bone folder to make those creases nice and sharp, and there I am left with the four bar top folding note card. Now I'll do the same thing on this one. I just make sure that my ends are lined up by folding that one over, and then I'll just press down with my bone folder and there I have another card base ready to go as well. Here's a look at the directions that are over on my blog if you want to go check those out as well. Now because these are smaller cards you can also make side folding cards from your sheet of cardstock as well. So starting off with my eight and a half by 11 inch white cardstock again I'm gonna put it in my paper trimmer and I want to line it up at seven inches and then I'm going to cut it right on that line. I've got my little leftover strip there and then I'm going to flip it around, trim it at four and seven eighths inches and then I will go ahead and slide this down and trim it again at four and seven eighths 
eighths of an inch. I've got my two little leftover strips there. Again, you can save those, toss them, whatever you want to do with them. But here I have two pieces of paper that are both ready to be folded in half and made into four bar side folding note cards. So all I have to do is fold them in half and use my bone folder to make that crease nice and sharp. And there I've got my side folding note card ready to be used as a card base. Now I like making these smaller cards because you do get two cards out of one sheet of cardstock. And you'll see that's not always the case in the next upcoming card. But first, here I look at those directions that are over on my blog as well for the four bar side folding note card. Now moving on to an A7 card base. This is a larger card base and this is a five by seven inch card. So you can only make one side folding card from an eight and a half inch by 11 inch sheet of card stock. You cannot make a top folding card base from this size of a card stock. So here I have my eight and a half inch by 11 inch white card stock. I'm going to first put the long side in my trimmer and trim this down to 10 inches. Then I will flip the card stock around and I will trim this at 7 inches. Now again, I've got two little leftover strips. You can use those for whatever you want or toss them. And then I've got my one sheet of card stock that is ready to be folded in half and made into an A7 or 5 by 7 inch card base. I'll use my bone folder to make that crease nice and sharp. And there is my A7 card base ready to go. Now here is a look at the directions. Again, if you want to go check those out, all of these are listed over on my blog. Now I'm only going to talk about one more card base here because it does get a little repetitive, but this is the A9 card base. This is a very big card. It measures five and a half inches by eight and a half inches. You can make one side folding card from one sheet of eight and a half by 11 inch cardstock. And this takes up the entire sheet of cardstock, so it is a good card base if you don't like the leftovers. However, it is very big. So all you need to do is fold your 8.5 inch by 11 inch cardstock in half. Use your bone folder to make that crease nice and sharp. And there's your A9 card base ready to go. And again, here's a look at those directions if you need them. Now that finishes all off for the video today. However, there are many other types of card bases you can make. You can make square, you can make any size you want. And once you get the hang of it, the math is very simple to do and it's very quick and easy. You really get the hang of it and it doesn't take a whole lot of thought. And you most definitely don't have to stick with certain types of card bases. So you can switch it up and make whatever size you want. If you want to head over to my blog, I have all of the directions listed as well as the paper trimmer I use and a bone folder as well. You can head over to my blog, the link is in the description box below, as well as that eye in the top right hand corner, that will get you there too. Don't forget to check out the rest of the Card Making 101 series and thank you guys so much for watching today. Happy crafting!